So before we get uh, ready to use our smart board, we need to plug all the wires in. Um, there are three wires in particular that are important, and those are the um, video that connects the computer to the projector, the USB cord, which is the rectangular uh, wider one, and that connects the smart board to the computer. And the last one is, depending on which classroom you use, there's also um, a, what looks like a headphone cord, and that connects the sound from your computer into the speakers in the classroom. So um, maybe come a little closer here. So what we'll do is we'll plug this one in. This is the video cord again, and that goes into the small um, rectangular port. Uh, once you plug it in, it takes a second and your screen will flash and come back. Then we plug in the USB. Uh, there are two options here. Either one works fine. And that, again, connects the smart board to the computer. And the last one is the headphone port. And if you have two uh, headphone ports, it's the one closest to the front of the computer. So when you plug them in, then you want to come over to the smart board and check that it yeah, is lit up. And as we can see, um, this particular smart board has an on-off switch. Not all of them do. Right now it's red and I can push the on button and we wait a second. Uh, it turns the whole system on, which includes the projector. Um, in senior school classes, of course, we don't have the power button here. We have to turn the projector on on the actual projector and that's the only difference. Uh, once it powers on, we'll want to wait to make sure that the um, the light on the smart board turns green, and that tells us that it's connected to the computer and working. So that's the case.